Hi, I'm Kirsten Kelly, and today's lesson is on raised canter poles. This is an amazing exercise. It really helps bend the horse's hocks, lift the shoulders, round their back, give them that real elevation in the canter. Please don't forget, think about the last time you went to the gym or did a whole lot of squats and what you felt like the next day. So just because it starts to make the horses feel amazing, don't go overboard and do heaps because tomorrow he won't like you at all. So just remember a few times down through the poles and gradually build up that strength. To help fund these videos, you can become a patron of mine for as little as $5 a month. So I would love it if you went and checked out my website, Kirsten Kelly Equestrian, and look up the Patreon page. Thanks very much. So I'm pretty excited about this exercise because it really helps lift the horses up and it gets them really engaged. It's a really fun exercise. So the thing is, is I've set these poles out here at three meters, which possibly will be too long. Every horse is different. So it will be somewhere between two and a half meters to three meters. If you work in feet, I'm a Kiwi, so everything's done in meters here. So you'll have to check the description below and it will have the uh, measurement in feet. So we're going to start at three metres. We'll start with them on the ground because if they're on the ground first, you can kind of suss them out. And then when we raise them up, I may need to adjust them and make them shorter. There's a couple of different things. So one, my main thing is I love the elevation it creates through the shoulders, but it really creates this nice lift through the back and it really bends there, it makes them sit on their hocks. So if they are too short, it's going to really make the, the canter quite short and rocky. Whereas as what I would like to do is keep it quite soft so you will need to play with the length of them because we don't want him being too snappy because he gets his canter short and snappy anyway we would like it to be softer so we will we'll move these as need be so big thing to start with as well is don't just keep come ramping in here at the canter first trot over them first make sure he's happy with that and then we'll come in the canter Alrighty, when you come to that first one, you probably need to look early, make sure you're really straight so that he's not bulging. And so you try to give yourself a nice um, ride over that rail. Probably think about finding your six strides like you do when you're jumping. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, let's do it. So just thinking rhythm is the regularity of the hoof beats. We always want it to be boom, 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 boom. He didn't mind that at all. Good, you can turn left. Oh, nice. All righty, let's come. And in the canter, let's do it in the canter. So eyes up, look to it early. Think of your six strides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Easy, I guessed right. So that was a nice six. Go back to the trot, turn left. And then you're gonna do it once off the left rein. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, perfect, good, give them a pat and then go back to the walk. Now let's come and pop over them with them raised. So remember, turn your head and look, make sure that he's straight, count your rhythm. Good boy, then go back to the trot. Now see this horse, is, this is the first time he's done this exercise. So the fact that she's popped up off her seat and light is totally fine because as he is you know, not used to this, doing this exercise, he's going to find this really hard work. Good boy. Then have a little walk and a pat. A little bit higher and do it again. So as we're watching the horse, we're watching his hock. Good boy. Interesting. See how he changed his leads over there. So it's just showing a little bit of a, a sign that one, one lead is more comfortable than the other one because he just popped off it. But you could see how he's really starting to bend his hocks. Good boy.